Hello, this is Bord from uh, Toffee Service. Um, a while ago I wanted to make a computer from spare parts uh, for my wife and I didn't feel that she had a need for like a super awesome graphics card. So I had an old um, ATI Radeon X1550 card laying around, PCI, <coughs> not so powerful but more than enough to run office programs and uh, browse the internet and place videos and stuff like that. Problem was that I installed their computer Windows 10 and Windows 10 don't have any Catalyst drivers that are compatible with uh, with this card. And I did a lot of search online and I found some people were referring to some kind of Catalyst 12.11 beta uh, hacked driver that was supposed to work but it didn't work for me and it actually contained a uh, Trojan when I tried to download it so it wasn't really that good. But I did another search on uh, Google and uh, let's see if I can find it. My search was quite simple, ATI 1550 Windows 10 driver and I came across uh, this website, let me see there, driverscape.com download ATI Radeon 1550 so it comes up with a driver that says it's uh, it's it's like an ad. See here, it says ad. That's not the driver you want. The driver I downloaded was this one, and I did that because it says that it supports Windows 10, 10, 32, and 64 bit. So uh, I downloaded that, and uh, to unpack that one, you need uh, another driver. Seven zip is the program. It's more like um, almost like WinRAR, but you can download that and it can also unpack executables and archives that you get that are installable. Um, so after I unpack that one, I get a folder like this. This is the name of the file. It's 911 Legacy Windows Vista 3264. And then the file you actually the, the folder you need to use is this one. You don't need to install the whole package. So you go to the main file folder, packages, drivers, display, and this is the folder you actually copy. You just copy this path like that. And then uh, in my case, I have already installed the driver, and you can see that it's showing a natural resolution of 1920 by 1080. and I'm just going to uninstall it and you see here it is so to prove that it works I'm just going to uninstall the whole device delete the drivers screen goes black for a couple of seconds uh, it's still recording Okay, so now the driver is gone and what I often see is that when you change the driver here it will freeze windows. So we're gonna prepare ourselves for that. Open task manager by right clicking on the desktop on the taskbar, task manager. Keep that available and then you scan for hardware changes and it will find and it will install like a Microsoft basic display adapter because it's the only thing it finds. This driver doesn't work very well. It doesn't give you the best resolutions and everything. So you update the driver, browse, and then you just input the path that you had from before and you tick the box called include subfolders. Next. Screen will, it will install the driver and the screen will go blank for a couple of seconds. And now you see the resolution is back to 1920 1080 and the driver seems to have installed properly like this and that's it the driver is now installed and you can enjoy windows 10 and uh, the x1550 ati card without problems
sometimes when you reinstall the driver like this, the Windows UI will bug and stuff like the menu here will not work. See, uh, right now I'm I'm uh, I'm left clicking on this and it doesn't work. Um, to fix this, you need to use Task Manager. You can access that from right clicking the menu and clicking Task Manager. And then you have to find a service called Windows Explorer, right click it and select End Task. This will basically close down the whole UI of Windows. And then run Task from the file menu and just type in Explorer and press Enter. It will reload the UI and you see you can use your menus again. Another thing that's important here is that this new driver struggles with the area interface of Windows. So you also need to disable like transparency settings and stuff like that. So right click your taskbar, go to taskbar settings, and then you scroll down to colors. And then you find the one called transparency effects. By default, it's set to on. And what you can re uh, see then sometimes is like what you see on the side here now. The menu is totally transparent and you click here, it looks transparent. Or like some windows like these start a bug, you can basically not do anything. So you need to turn off the transparency effects because this graphic card is so old it cannot handle the transparency effects from the area uh, UI. So basically that is really important with this graphic card. Uh, I think it's because it doesn't support more than DirectX 9. And uh, that area effects came with DirectX 10 or 11, I think, with Windows 8, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, that is it from me. Thank you for watching and uh, see you next time.